better get it fixed then. Is there a garage nearby? Well, if Lamont didn't have a date, he could go out and get it fixed in a minute. No, that, that, was, that was nothing, Pop. It was just with the guys. Listen, I, I could take your car down to Pete's garage and have it back in 15 minutes. I'd be, I'd be glad to do it. Oh, thank you. That's very sweet of you. Would you like to come along? Why don't you, honey? Got to give Fred and I a chance to get real acquainted. Yeah, and, and while they're reminiscing, may, may, maybe we could spend the rest of the evening together. You know, take in a movie, do a little bit of dancing, have a couple of burritos. Oh, wow. Oh. Well, that really sounds great. Yeah? Uh, I, don't have, I don't have to change, do it, because I look a little shabby. <laughs> Oh, no, I think you look kind of sexy. I do? <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. It's that wild rumple look that spells S-E-X. <laughs> My day, that wild rumple look is spelled B-U-M. <laughs> well, that's Andiamo. That's, uh, that's Italian for let's split. Oh, you speak Italian, huh? Well, in my line of work, you had to be familiar with quite a few languages. Yeah, so you can know what people are calling you. <laughs> well, Juanita, uh, what are you saying? I'll fix us a little liquid refreshment. Oh, I'll help you. Yes. Get some nice things here, friend. Yeah, I coordinate all this myself. <laughs> Sit right down there, honey. Thank you. I did some nice stuff here. You know, Juanita, you sure look good. Even after all these years, see, you look good because you've been taking care of yourself, ain't you? I try. And you look wonderful, too, Fred. Well, I tried to myself. Hey, we'll drink to the good old days. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Put a little soda in there? Yeah, a little soda. <laughs> all right. Make it fizzly. <laughs> Wee -wee. <laughs> Hey, Wally, do you remember the good old days? Hold, hold tight, tight, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Put it right a second. This is my favorite dish. Wow! <laughs> yes, yes, Fred. You still got it. Yeah, and I'm going to keep it if somebody come and take it away. <laughs> I mean, a handsome man like you is very eligible. Why hasn't some girl caught you yet? Isn't there somebody? Well, yes and no. And what does that mean? Well, yes, I'm handsome and eligible, and no, she ain't caught me yet. <laughs> I'm free as a bird. And oh. hey, what about you? I mean, how's your husband like Washington, D.C.? And what's his name, Gerard? Gerald. Yes. yes. Passed on. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, Gerald's passed. I've come here to settle his estate. Estate? Mm. I thought uh, Gerald was a janitor at the mental institution. No. Now, where did you hear a thing like that? Gerald was a consulting psychiatrist, and a very good one, too. Now, what happened, one of his patients, a pyromaniac who was progressing beautifully, had a slight setback and set the hospital on fire. And when Gerald tried to save him, well, let's just say he died a hero. Then you free as a bird, too, ain't you? Yes, I am. Uh, ain't nothing like two free birds, <laughs> you know, getting together over a glass of ripple, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm glad to hear that Gerald left you well off, you know, with the estate and all. Yes, quite well off, I might add. But nothing takes the place of a man to help you raise a daughter. Yeah, you definitely got to have that around. Uh -huh. uh, have you been looking? <laughs> I didn't have to look, Fred. He was there all the time. Huh? What, what do you mean? I always knew it was just a matter of time, and everything would work itself out right in the end. Uh, <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm talking about Alice. Alice? What about Alice? Gerald went to his grave knowing Alice wasn't his daughter. Oh. Well, wasn't his daughter? Uh, uh, whose daughter is she? <laughs> You don't know, Fred? Oh. Alice is our daughter. Oh.